But I, I think the key thing is that you go into it with that in mind. Because if you go into it thinking, I'm going to one up this guy, I'm, I'm going to get this faster, then, then you're, you're, I think, more likely to overreact. Or not even overreact, but to react as you should for the reason as a product. Well, I, I agree with everything you're saying there, Evan, and I applaud your, your SIF dis. I'm, I'm glad that you participated in that, and also were able to stay calm. It took me a couple of tries before I was able to stay calm, but it is uh, it makes a big difference. Because, like I said before, and I, I hate to speak in generalizations, but cops are like... So, so I, have, I have cops in my family. Don't don't think that I like hate all, all the cops and everything. My grandfather was one who's dead now, but like, no cops now. The point is, they like, you, you can show up to me if you, if you think this is bad, but they like assaulting people, and they like roughing people up, and they were the bullies in school. When you were a little kid, when they were on the, the playground, they were pushing people around and seeing what they could get away with. And in your adult life, they can get away with all of it, because they're wearing a badge and they have a gun. And when you get into a pissing contest, like you said earlier, they win. It doesn't matter how strong you are, how many of them you are. Like, they're going to win in the game of games. <coughs> That's their game. It's always been their game since they were little kids. They're just punks. And so how do you deal with a punk on the playground? It's like, be a, be a, have more respect for yourself than to stoop to their level. So the way I would like to see kids deal with punks on the playground is to like go up to them and say, you, you're hurting people, man. Like That's not cool. And that, um, it takes more courage to do that than it takes to, to punch someone who's, who's hurting peaceful people, you know? Um, it, it's, it takes courage to um, stay calm in the, in the face of force and, and to have so much respect for yourself like, like you did, Evan, where you say, I'm, I'm not going to participate in, in the kind of uh, vulgar actions that, that you're, you're um, committing against. So, th I guess the, the whole point of what I want to say here today is to assert your own um, being. Be in your body and have total control over what your life is about and, and what you're doing. Um, no one can take that away from you, not even with force, because it's, you know, it's, it's in your heart. Um, and Li the more you live free, uh, the more willing other people will be to live free when they see you do it. And boy, wouldn't it be a great world if, if we could just all uh, not be afraid of actions that don't hurt other people but happen to be illegal. Like, that would, it's so stupid. I mean, has anyone gotten, I know we're running out of time, but has anyone gotten a speeding ticket? Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, we, were, we were talking about this on, on the way down, because I've been driving for a little while covering the Occupy events, and um, I, I got a speeding ticket. But if, if, if you've sped, you're participating in civil dis, you know, like, you're not hurting anyone if, if you didn't cause an accident. If, if you cause an accident, I mean, Shame on you. yeah, drive, drive a little <laughs> better, but I don't think speeding hurts anyone. Uh, you'll see in the pamphlet, I, I put these little don't take the plea deal flyers on um, all the, the seats. If you didn't get one, please let me share one with you, uh, or catch me after this. It has a list of things that you could do that are civil dis, that, that actions that don't hurt anybody, like having alcohol when you're underage, or um, speeding. Or internally and, possessing alcohol. Internally, I heard that's a crime like here. Ha having a joint, and, and all kinds of things. But the, the point of don't take a plea deal I hand these out uh, at the court in, in my local town every week, and the, the goal is to have peaceful people taking everything they're charged with to court. Because if, if just like 10% more people, like 10% of the people who get speeding tickets took them to court, you, do you think the, the cops who are like, oh crap, now I have to go into court and like go through all these motions, it's just going to be a waste of time for them, for the court, it costs them money. It clogs up the system, and eventually they're just gonna give up. They're gonna be like, "This is not worth it. I'm not." Imagine if everyone arrested. who gets arrested for having a joint goes and like protests that. How much even more that would flood the system with just like harmless possession. 
charges. That would be huge, but you don't even need everyone. You just need ten percent. Like yeah. you know, just a handful would do it. So I, I'm thrilled that everyone who's sitting here is here today because that to me means that you are people who are willing to assert your rights, are thinking about living free, and are looking for ways to do it. So, like, congrats to all of you for, for being here, for, um, ha like, having a good heart, and I I'm just thrilled that you're all here. If I haven't answered any, any questions, I'd be happy to, to swing open for the next minute. Or uh, yeah, I just got a quick question about the, yeah. you know, uh, not taking the plea deal and you know fighting it. Um, in the case of something like possession, where you were caught and they took what you they took from you as evidence, um, what do you go into court pleading not guilty for? What reason? Well, I pled not guilty for that crime. And it worked. I mean, well, I mean, I guess I'm just saying. I mean, can't they just simply just say, you know, here's the bag of evidence, you know, to, you know, stamp it, you know, it's guilty type of thing like that? You know what I mean? Is there really a point? I see what you're saying. The situation, like in a speeding ticket, I can say, you know. You know, he didn't get, you know, I wasn't speeding, you know, I don't care what he says, type of thing like that. But in the case of, you know, they took my stash, they have it in, you know, some chest somewhere in the court, you know. I guess, where do you draw the, you know, where where would it be a good idea maybe to not get on their bad side and try to fight? Them? So I love that question. Thank you. I'd be happy to answer it. But I do want to mention, is it all right that I mentioned it? It's 8 o'clock. If anyone oh, yeah. wanted to shuffle out, I will not be offended if you're like, I got shit to do today. Um, but so to answer your question, the not guilty, to me, means I'm claiming I have not hurt anybody. I swear I didn't hurt anyone, I didn't take any property, I didn't damage any property, I haven't committed libel, slander, none of that. I have nothing. Why did you plead I'm an innocent. contest? What's that? Why did you plead contest? We because that's... Because that's... Right? Yeah. And that happened to so, Bob Constantine. Right. So what I'm hoping to do is get before a jury and say, the state of New Hampshire thinks that I belong in a cage for seven years because I packed a bowl next to a cop. Do you think so? Like, do you think I belong in a cage? Do I seem crazy? I've been working for all these years. You know, I drive. I'm a normal guy. I can write. I articulate what, my, what I'm thinking. So. Like, do I, do you think I belong in a cage? Because I'm saying I don't. I'm not guilty of any crime against humanity here. I haven't hurt any single individual. If you can show me an individual who's like, I was hurt by Derek's actions, then I want to go up to them and, and make it right. Like, I'll reconcile that. If someone thinks that I've hurt them, please let me know and I'll, I'll make it right with you. But there's no chance of doing that with state of New Hampshire. Like. Who, who do I talk to? Who's my accuser here? And so I, I just think it's crazy because the, the judge and the prosecutor, they work for the same team. So, I mean, they often have offices in the same building. It's like they can't even act like they're separate. They're definitely trying to put <coughs> people in cages and, and just please resist that. And, and say you're not guilty. If you haven't hurt anyone or damaged property, you're not guilty of anything in my book. So I think a jury would agree with you. But so if a cop approaches you and like let's say you're doing whatever illegal action, or maybe suspects you of it, or I'll, I'll throw out something. Let's say you were smoking and then you saw the police and you like got rid of all of it. And you're coming over to talk to you and they ask for your name and information. Do you have to give it? It no. depends on what state you're in, but not in New Hampshire. The only time you have to present an ID in the state of New Hampshire is if you're driving a car. What do you think? Like, regardless of what state you're in, where geographic location. I mean, 